or as a mentor could ask for. And I don't think that performance, in a way, did you justice because you are so good this year. Anything short of exceptional won't be good enough. Wow. Well, good morning, <laughs> Ashley. You said it all there, didn't yeah. you? I mean, this is fifth series. Yeah. Um, is the talent getting stronger, do you think? Well, I mean, as you just saw then, I mean, those particular boys, mm -hmm. they're so young. When when Got to Dance first came around, yeah. they, were, they were kids, they were barely into secondary school. So uh, the new generation of dance talent is absolutely amazing. We're seeing a lot of it this series. So it, it, it must be strange for you because you burst into our lives, didn't you, Diversity, yeah. five years ago on Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. And yet there are youngsters now coming up to you going, I want to be like you, I've always wanted to be like you. It's a part of their sort of, you know, that you're a legend in their lives now. It's weird for me to think that there are there are kids out there, there's a whole generation out there who diversity is just a part of their lives, part of their mm. growing up. They're used to seeing a dance crew on telly because when I was younger, dance, especially street dance for boys, it wasn't really a big thing at all. No, there wasn't and really any dance on TV, yeah, was not, there? Not really, and now dance is so much bigger on telly and to have a part in that and play a part in that, I feel really privileged and really proud. Mm. Now, this series, not only is there, are there competitors or victims, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> I'm still burning from you trying to teach me to dance. I may never recover. Um, uh, uh, not only is it getting tougher for them, but it's actually getting very competitive among the judges, isn't it? Tell me about it. Yeah. You know, the producers have spiced things up this time around and have sort of decided to make Kimberly Adam and myself mentors. So yeah. um, we each have a team and we're competing against each other now. So it's pretty hardcore. Yeah. And I think you might have the edge, though, because you mentor a lot, you choreograph diversity. Yeah. Do you have the edge there, do you think? Well, I definitely have some kind of advantage, obviously, because it's what I do every day of my life. I have a group, we've won a competition, I mentor the boys all the time. But yeah. it's all about the talent, and there is some unreal talent on all of our teams. Now, what about Davina McCall, the host? Davina. Has she got some moves? Davina is literally an undercover dancer. All she, she ever does is ask us to teach her moves, and I... You know, she's recorded videos and I've taught her little tricks and bits and pieces. Like, she's really good. Is she any good? She's good. She is? Yeah, yeah. Slip me that video, will you? Okay, cool. I'll I send quite like to have yeah. a look at that. I bet she is great. Um, so, it, can you believe that it is five years since Britain's Got Talent? Because it feels to me like you've always been around now. I know. I mean, that list you were talking about at the beginning, mm. you know, performing for royalty, yeah. sell out tours, um, you know, sold out the O2 Arena four times. We're going on tour again at the end of the year. Um, got to dance, Secret Street Crew. I mean, I, I can't believe how much we've done, and I just feel so privileged. It's amazing. So, when you went on to Britain's Got Talent, was it like a very focused, I'm going to be a professional dancer, I want to get exposure, or were you just sort of like trying your luck? It wasn't even trying our luck. If I'm being 100% honest, someone came up to us, it was uh, someone from the show, and was like, yeah. You've heard of the show, why, why don't you come and enter? And we were like, hmm, Okay, why not? We, we were just doing our thing, and that. That's what I think the secret of diversity is. We wasn't trying to be anything. We wasn't trying to impress anybody, trying to be famous. We were just being us mm. and doing what we love to do. And people liked it. It is a strange way to make a living, isn't it? I mean, your, your girlfriend's a solicitor. Yeah. Proper grown-up job. <laughs> yeah, proper proper grown-up job, yeah. yeah. So what does she do? So, uh, take care, darling. See you at tea time. And you go off and pull some moves. <laughs> I mean, how does it work? Yeah, like, she gets up, she goes out. I get up, I go out, and I come back in at... God knows what hour. Yeah. And I've just been out dancing all day, and yeah, she's got the nine to five. But sometimes it's hard to, for the lives to kind of interconnect. But yeah, she's there for me all the time. So. Yeah, fantastic. So, you, are you have any more plans to make any more films? Because you... do you know what? There, there's been talks about a diversity movie in the pipeline mm -hmm. for ages, and um, they're not gone. They're just kind of on the on the back burner at the moment. But yeah, hopefully you'll see diversity on the big screen soon. And what about dance generally? Obviously, Strictly is like a monolith. It's huge, and we've yeah. seen all sorts of other dance shows coming up. What would you like to see more of on TV? We don't get a lot of ballet, do we? We don't get a lot of ballet. I Your mum was a ballet teacher, wasn't she? Yeah, she trained royal yeah. ballet, and um, she was a ballerina. My dad was a boxer, very different, and that's kind of how I grew up. You know, she, my dad turned his boxing gym into a studio, mm. and since I've been, you know, two, I've been sitting in the corner of a dance studio. So dance is my life, and I think dance has got so much potential. People obviously love it. Yeah. And so I'd love to just see more dance, more dance entertainment on telly, really. And hopefully okay. I can just be the person pushing that forward. Well, we can't wait to see this series. It's been lovely chatting to you. Thanks oh, very thanks much indeed. Always. Chat to you. Now, that's it for today. Tomorrow.